Welcome back to Social Distance in Style by Tutus Kuniati. And I'm joined here with Dr. Edris Farabod. Lovely to meet you. Uh, thank you for having me. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Pleasure to be here. So you are a doctor at America, uh, Dubai Healthcare City. Yes. In, and you, have a, you hold a degree for American Board of Aesthetic Medicine. Yes. Which is absolutely fantastic. You work in Dubai Healthcare City in Emirates Speciality Hospital. Yes, correct. Why did you choose, why did you choose that hospital? Uh, you know, uh, before that, we can d talk about uh, Dubai. Basically, Dubai, in terms of uh, nationality diversity, is uh, very uh, unique because we have a range of the patient from a Western country to uh, Europe to Eastern countries, okay? So it's a very uh, unique experience for me. In the same time, it is a challenge because uh, uh, there are uh, lots of, um, uh, you know, the cultural background from these patients that they want a different and they have their uh, a different uh, result they're looking for. I choose uh, Emirates Specialty Hospital because uh, it is located in Dubai Healthcare City. Dubai Healthcare City is the uh, largest healthcare free zone in the world. And uh, it is important for us to be in the highest level of uh, healthcare so we can deliver the same to our patient. So doctor, I think it's absolutely fantastic what you do and Thank you. you are definitely a perfectionist. Tell us about what do you specialize in exactly? Uh, I'm specialized in the face exactly, okay? Aesthetic, uh, um, specializing the face and all the procedure, invasive and non-invasive in, in the face. So you don't do anywhere else other than the face? No, no, only, only the face. And why did you choose, why did you choose the face? Why did you choose to like, specialize? I, I think the face is the first thing that you, you see in the, any, any person, yeah. okay? So uh, although the, the body is very important, but the face is the first thing that you see. So it, is, uh, it was my, uh, uh, let's say, uh, favorite part to, to practice on. And which, which is the most popular procedure that you have in your clinic? What, what, what is the most popular procedure that you do, that you practice on? Uh, there are a lot of procedures that we are seeing, especially in Dubai, and uh, because it has a different range of uh, pr procedure that people ask, it uh, depends on the trends. We can talk about the trends later on, but uh, the, uh, the, the, the current trend in the market of Dubai is the lip filler. Uh, let, let's say the, uh, the, the top three procedure that we do in Dubai, uh, like anywhere in the world, the first one is the Botox now, because uh, we have an invasive and non-invasive procedure, okay? So the in non-invasive procedure is uh, they have a lot of uh, 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 patients now, and uh, the first one is Botox, the second is the fillers, like uh, lip filler, the other fillers that uh, we use, for example, for the jawline and the chin augmentation, and uh, there is also uh, the, the new uh, procedures that we are seeing in the market, the one that I call it uh, Foxy Eye, okay? So it's a trend for 2021. Everybody asks about it. Uh, it is uh, like uh, we are changing the shape of the eyebrow uh, to, to enhance the, the, the uh, eyebrow and the lift the eyebrow. So the patient looks more lo like uh, a cat eye or the fox eye. It's a trend. And uh, yes, we are seeing this procedure nowadays uh, a lot. I've seen the fox eye trend everywhere on Instagram, actually, and I've seen it on your, your Instagram. Yes. Can you explain exactly how, how this procedure is done? Uh, the, the, you know, the idea of this procedure is to lift the eyebrow and, uh, if possible, a little on the corner of the eye, we call it conscious. So uh, the, there are lots of threads in the market but the one that we are using is, uh, it's called Silhouette Soft. So it is not a PDO thread, it's not the, the old uh, technique that we are using, it's a different technique, completely different technique that we are using. We are, we are going from the tail of the uh, eyebrow and then we are coming out from the, uh, what we call it, the area 
it is a supra uh, uh, orbital uh, notch. So we are we are putting the thread, and if we are putting on oh, the so thread, threads. and the, yeah, yeah, it's a thread. It's a non-surgical uh, procedure that we do, and there is no downtime, there is no uh, bruising, uh, there is no pain. The anesthesia is a local, and then the patient can go to the work tomorrow. So that's why it becomes very popular. I know it's very important for the girls. Uh, they want to have this, uh, 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 the fox eye look. So yeah, we are seeing it in the market very now. And how long does it last? Uh, it lasts, uh, depends on the uh, uh, thread that we are using. It can last up to 12 months. So yeah. And would you say that that is the most popular procedure that you do? Uh, one of them, yes. This is one of the top three now I'm doing. And which is the most popular? Uh, lips, lip filler and the jawline. We call it Texas jawline. So Texas jawline basically is the procedure that we do for the uh, jawline and the chin augmentation. We are using a different uh, viscosity of the filler because these fillers, they have a different uh, viscosity, okay? So uh, choosing the right uh, material for, for, for the face is very important. It's not only about the techniques that we are using, it's about also the, the, the material, okay? So we are heard about a lot of these uh, 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 products, Juider, Bristol, and lots of unique, in the same time, it is a very uh, uh, worldwide recognized uh, materials. Yeah, and we and I, I think as well, um, face uh, what you do, it works very well into fashion. I think it sort of merges very, very nicely. How would you say that it it connects into fashion? I think it's job? all about the fashion. Uh, today, it's, it's, it's completely different. We cannot do the advertisement. We cannot uh, like that what uh, we used to do 10 years ago. So uh, today, it's all about the fashion, uh, the, the people involved in the fashion. It's a style, OK? It is a lifestyle, I can say. Uh, yeah, it is a lifestyle of you, OK? So this is not the extra procedure that you do. Uh, when you do this procedure, you feel better, you look better, and then it, it, it has an impact on your, your lifestyle as well. So yes, I can say it is very important. It, is, uh, it has a direct effect on your lifestyle. And uh, if you do it correctly, it, it gives you a, a, a pleasure uh, in your life. And it's like buying, it's like buying an item of clothing, like fashion. You feel exactly. powerful. You feel more confident. Exactly the same. Exactly. Because your, it's your face. You know, your everyone can see. Yeah, but what is important? Uh, another thing which we should mention here is about the, in the process of aging, we uh, break more than we make. Okay, so you should know that uh, in the process of aging, you lose, your face is changed, okay? It is your, your, your wear, wearing one dress today, and it is out of fashion, or it, is, it cannot wear after two years or three years. So I believe that uh, the people should understand, uh, because there are lots of patients, they come to me, ask me about, uh, we want to have uh, longer lasting fillers. So uh, to, to be honest, uh, the, the one that, uh, because these fillers are absorbable, okay? So uh, uh, it, it is better than they absorb, than they stay there. Okay, we don't want the, these pillars to be forever there, like your uh, uh, clothes. Like uh, this is this is not for if it, you are wearing today, you cannot wear it after ten years. Okay, it's out of fashion. Okay, so yeah. I think a, a lot of um, as well, like twenty-year-olds, like it's, it's it's a trend for twenty-year-olds to to get their to get work done on their face. What would you say is the best age to start getting work done? Yeah, you cannot uh, say it like this because there is a process of aging, okay? So there is an anti-aging uh, treatment that we do. You can start it uh, from the 20 years old, uh, when you are 20 years, or uh, uh, there is a correction uh, procedure that we do, okay? So that's a different story. Uh, for anti-aging, I suggest, uh, yes, you can start from 20 years, uh, not only to do these procedures, like Botox, it, it can be preventive yeah. uh, procedure. So the preventive procedure is different from the constructive procedure that we do, let's say. Uh, yeah.